Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Susilawati binti Ahmad Osman. And myself, Aini Hayati binti Nur Osman. And we are from Politeknik Sultan Idris Shah Sabah Benam Selangor. As for today, we would like to present about topic Empowering Mobile Learning Towards Tibet Polytechnic in Malaysia. So Susi, don't go away! Implementation on teaching and learning is a process in an essential task. Thus, various methods are used to help students to understand each topic taught on a daily basis. Gallery work, presentation, demonstrations, discussions, and others are the methods adopted as means as communication in the classroom. Starting with the traditional methods, that is still in use in Malaysia, the learning process has become involved by using the technology. One of the examples in learning by technology is called mobile learning and is known as M-learning. Do you know what is M-learning? M-learning is a learning concept that emphasizes the ability to facilitate the transfer of learning process independent of the physical location where the learning process takes place. In other words, the learning can be done everywhere and not only in the classroom. M-learning has been proven in other countries and has now been introduced in Malaysia, where there is a few higher education institutions have been integrating the technology in their learning. At the Polytechnic, we also have implemented the M-Learning to promote a Tibet education. We can see each Polytechnic has used a CDOS as a platform of teachers and students to be used. CDOS is known as Curriculum Information Document Online System. Sharing the notes among students has been facilitated by the availability of mobile devices such as PDAs, laptop, and smartphones among students. They no longer need to sit in front of their personal computer to download the notes. It has been simplified by using only the internet provided by the mobile phone services, subscriber of the internet, and also been provided by the institution. Therefore, it is used good for a dead time. For example, downloading the notes can be done at anywhere and anytime. For example, if you as a student has been sitting at the cafe, you can simply download the notes from your mobile devices. And as for a teacher, they can conduct a quiz for their students at any time and anywhere. What are characteristics of mobile learning? Number one, spontaneous. Mobile learning is more spontaneous than other learning types. If this spontaneity that is probably the most defining characteristics of mobile learning. Mobile learning is a context aware, meaning that students can be learned everywhere and anytime. Wireless technologies such as laptop computer, palm top computers, and mobile phones 
are revolutionizing education and transforming the traditional classroom based on learning and teaching into any time and anywhere in education. Number two, portable size of mobile tools. Mobile learning tools are small and portable. Students can use it everywhere during their learning activities. Number three, the blended. Teachers can use this approach with a blended learning model. Students can use mobile tools for homework, projects in their education. Blended learning which combines classroom instructions with M learning and also can maximize the benefits of both face-to-face -face and online methods. Number four is private. Mobile learning is a private. It means that only one learner at a time usually has access to the mobile device and that when students want to access information and downloads independently from other learners. Number five, interactive. Mobile learning environment which is utilized the latest technologies to bring an interactive learning environment into learning and teaching of activities. Students are not passive. The functions of mobile tools and environments allow varying levels of interactivity. And number six, collaborative. Mobile technologies are support communications between students and teachers so that mobile technology may use for collaborative environments for the activities in the education. Why must M learning? What are the benefits of M learning? M learning helps students to improve literacy and numerical skills to identify their real capabilities. So it can be used to promote both independent learning and sharing learning experience. And learning can help students identify the things that they are need and their supports. And learning can help in use of information and communication technologies and help reduce the literacy gap between mobile phone and information technology literacy. And learning help students resist learning from experience of some formalities and maintain focus, which is M learning helps students in learning to maintain focus for longer period of time. Last but not least, M learning help improve self-esteem and self-confidence. In addition, Multimedia element that can integrate audio and video may encourage the student interest in the use of M learning. With this element, student will be more focused, active, constructive, and able to enhance the role of work in creative and critical thinking. These developments are needed in producing graduates who are competitive. Even though there are many advantages can be listed, but each technology has a flaw. What are the disadvantages of M learning? First, screen size of mobile devices. The screen size of mobile devices such as PDAs and smartphones are relatively small. Screen size problem has always been an issue in M learning. Small screen on smartphone cause difficult for students to read and limit the number of text to display. In addition to the limited screen size, mobile devices also face other problems, such as a weak method of entering input 
and limited battery life. Second, unstable internet coverage. Unstable internet coverage may contribute to the weakness of the implementation of M learning. Significant weakness is related to difficulty in accessing technology, information overload, the quality of the information has changed, the requirements of time and skill shortages, and difficulties in dealing with technical problems like internet connection problem, technical problem mobile devices, and virus problems. Third, usability. The buttons on the keypad or stylus pens are small and can be tricky for some people to manipulate. There are many attached keyboard available for some devices but these are also small, can be difficult to use and cost money. Another point is, in M learning venue, students are incapable of printing simply because it's need a network connection. This is obviously not feasible in a number of real life situations. As a human, we are bound to have shortcomings that cannot be avoided. Among the disadvantages identified are M learning is difficult to handle because of their lack of knowledge in using the web portal model system. Apart from the busy line internet, it contributed to the process of M learning is becoming slower and retreat its use. For the conclusion, Mobile learning typically occur outside the classroom with only limited guidance from the instructors. In order to get efficient results and the maximum performance from students using mobile learning in Tibet education, each of the elements of mobile learning should be prepared carefully. Tibet teaching and learning can be changed to promote inspired learning where it can be improved the learning effectiveness and characteristic of M learning. So, in order to increase and promoting Tibet technology in Polytechnic in Malaysia, remember this. Start with the curriculum first and then mobile technology. Thank, Thank you. you.